Iowa Interstate number 6988 is a 2102 type steam locomotive. It was part of a class of 5,000 locomotives that were built in China beginning in the 1950s. As one of the last countries in the world to use steam locomotives on a large scale, Chinese locomotive manufacturers continued to build these mighty steam-powered machines up until the late 1980s. The class was given the designation QJ, short for Xian Xin, which loosely translates to forward. 6988 was built at the Daytong Locomotive Works in 1985, and it was used to pull heavy freight trains as well as passenger trains over Jingping Pass on the Jitong Railway. By 2004, most of the railroads that had previously used steam had fully dieselized, and with this, most of the QJ locomotives were retired. With so many surplus steam locomotives, an effort was made to sell off some of the retired engines. Some were repurposed for use on industrial lines in China for the next decade. However, a few locomotives were sold and shipped out of the country. 6988 and sister QJ locomotive 7081 were fully rebuilt and then shipped to the United States in 2006 to be used on the Iowa Interstate Railroad for special events. Both locomotives were operated off and on over the following decade and a half, often running special trips to benefit local fire departments in Iowa and Illinois. For a special railroad festival in 2011, the 6988 was given a more Americanized appearance with a new headlight, bell, and paint job. The 7081 retained its Jitong Railway appearance, operating until 2013. In 2021, the 6988 approached the end of its 15-year-long Federal Railroad Administration boiler certification. The locomotive would need a complete teardown and boiler inspection before being permitted to operate again. With no firm plans at the time for a recertification from the railroad, the decision was made to prepare the 6988 for long-term storage. Following final public excursions in the summer of 2021, the 6988 made two final runs in between the steam locomotive shops in Newton, Iowa, and the Iowa Interstate Yard at South Amana, a distance of about 60 miles in each direction. This was done to burn up the extra coal left over in the tender to prevent metal corrosion once the locomotive was placed into storage. Let's go back to October of 2021 to see Steam Locomotive 6988 in action through the rolling hills of Iowa. On Thursday, October 21st, 2021, we find ourselves at the Iowa Interstate Railroad's Newton Yard, home of the Steam Locomotive shops. Newton is located about 30 miles due east of Des Moines, Iowa. Iowa Interstate is a freight rail carrier in the Midwestern United States, operating over the former Rock Island Railroad between Chicago, Illinois and Council Bluffs, Iowa. The railroad passes through the cities of Bureau, Davenport, and Des Moines along the way. Iowa Interstate also owns a branch line that runs between Bureau and Peoria, Illinois. 6988 simmered in front of the locomotive shops. On this day, the locomotive made a series of short test runs between Newton and Kellogg, a distance of about 5 miles. A diesel towed the train eastbound down the hill to Kellogg, and 6988 brought the train back up the hill toward Newton. The consist of the train included several covered hopper cars to give the train weight and added braking capability.
After three successful trips up and down the hill, 6988 and train were brought back into the yard at Newton where the crew prepared for two round trips to South Amana over the course of the next two days. On Friday, October 22nd and Saturday, October 23rd, the 6988 made one round trip on each day between Newton and South Amana, leaving in the morning and returning that afternoon. Since the train made virtually the same trip on both days, I have combined the video I captured from Friday and Saturday by location to give you a better idea of the geography of this railroad. This location is just west of the town of Kellogg at the base of Kellogg Hill, one of the steepest grades on the line. Just before 10 a.m. on October 23rd, the train rushed down the hill as it began its journey. A mile to the southeast in the town of Kellogg, the Heartland Co-op Animal Feed Grain Elevator established a strong sense of place as 6988 raced through. From here, the train traveled to the town of Grinnell where it made a brief stop before continuing east. To the east of Malcolm, the engineer had 6988 working hard up a slight grade as the train cut across rolling hills of farmland. Arriving into the small town of Brooklyn, Iowa, the train slowed for a short servicing stop. With sunny fall skies, servicing concluded and the train accelerated out of Brooklyn.
more grain elevators greeted the train in Marengo. 6988 came through a broad sweeping curve in town, now only a few miles out from South Amana. Sixty-nine eighty-eight came to a stop once again at the west end of the Iowa Interstate South Amana Yard. After waiting for a freight train to clear, sixty-nine eighty-eight and train continued through the yard to be turned around on the Yokum Connection Y track. Immediately to the east of the South Amana Yard is the Yoakum Connection. Named for former Iowa Interstate Railroad President Fred Yoakum, this is the junction between the Iowa Interstate Main Line between Council Bluffs, Iowa and Blue Island, Illinois, and the branch line to Cedar Rapids. The first few miles of the branch are owned by Iowa Interstate, with the remainder under the control of the Cedar Rapids and Iowa City Railway. This is former Milwaukee Road trackage. Prior to the creation of this junction, Milwaukee Road rails from Cedar Rapids crossed under the Rock Island Railroad and then continued west. In 2000, Iowa Interstate completed the Yoakum Connection, creating a railroad Y, thus allowing trains to be turned at this location. With the Milwaukee Road line west of here abandoned long ago, the only visual indication of this route is the bridge over the old Milwaukee Road right-of-way in the middle of the Y.
Once the train was turned on the Y, 6988 began its trip back to Newton in the early afternoon. Storm clouds had moved in during the Friday, October 22nd trip as 6988 flew along between Marengo and Ladora. Just east of Victor, the train crossed under Highway 6 on Saturday, October 23rd. The train came to a stop between Victor and Brooklyn for servicing as a light rain began to fall. As the rain picked up in intensity, the crew wasted no time inspecting the locomotive and train.
6988 brought the train into the siding at Brooklyn with the sun shining warmly overhead. The train waited here for an extended period for an eastbound freight. At the 400th Avenue crossing just to the west of Brooklyn, an eastbound Iowa Interstate mixed freight manifest train passed by. On the railroad, this train is known as the CBBI, or the Council Bluffs to Blue Island Daily Freight. This train and its westbound counterpart run once a day in each direction over the entire railroad, a journey that often takes two days to complete. With the shadows now growing long, 6988 charged up Kellogg Hill just a few miles from the yard in Newton. After the train arrived into Newton on Saturday, October 23rd, there was still quite a surplus of coal left in the tender. So the diesel locomotive on the end of the train pulled the entire consist back down the hill several more times to burn up more of the remaining coal. In the fading light, 6988 put on quite a show running up the hill into the night.
With light gone from the sky, I called it a day and headed for home. It was great to see the big locomotive on these possibly final runs. However, the October 2021 trips were not the last for 6988. In mid-2022, it was moved to Silvis, Illinois to begin the long process of overhauling and boiler inspection for another 14 years of running across the Midwest. Thanks for joining me for this trip to follow Iowa Interstate 6988 across Iowa. If you have any questions, comments, or requests for new videos you'd like to share with me, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. As always, a big thanks to all my supporters on Patreon. For regular alerts every time I post to YouTube, you're always more than welcome to subscribe to the channel and click on the bell to receive all notifications. I'll be back next Friday at 9 a.m. Pacific time with an all new railroading adventure right here on the YouTube channel. That's it for now. Until next time, I'm Mike Armstrong. I'll see you down the line. Thanks for watching.